Hey you guys, what is up? This is Supergirl Kels. Welcome back to another Monday video where every single Monday is at 5 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. We upload content related to gaming, Smash Ultimate competitiveness, uh, reviews, music, and more. And if you're interested to see everything that I do, you can visit my website, SupergirlKels. Com. Welcome everyone, thank you for being here today. It's a very special video, a very different video. I've announced in the beginning of the year that when Animal Crossing New Horizons came out, um, I would provide a lot of content regarding Animal Crossing. And that hasn't happened yet, you know? I've been doing a lot of Smash since quarantine, and um, we've been kind of really looking at different content as well, especially when it came to completionists. So uh, I wanted to give you Animal Crossing fans really what you've been asking for for so long. I've been getting a lot of DMs like, where's the Animal Crossing? Where's the Animal Crossing? So here it is. Now today I want to show you guys my entire island. Um, it's not finished. But I did notice that I am over 500 hours of playtime. If we go and check. Yeah, oh sweet Jesus, I need help. But basically, yeah, I, I have that much. And um, that's a lot. So I, I wanted to kind of look back and see everything that I've done within those 500 hours. And again, I'm not done. The island is still being built. There's still a section we're going to pass today that I'm like still creating and still saving up for. It's very expensive. And uh, my house is not even close to being done. So I'm not going to be showing you my house tour today. Just because I want that to be finished when I show you guys, I'm going to make a separate video. But if you have any ideas regarding Animal Crossing New Horizons and you want me to make content about it, write in the comments below, what would you see regarding Animal Crossing New Horizons and I will make that possible for you. <coughs> oh, Jesus. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll start right here in front of my home. Um, I hope this inspires some people. I haven't played yet today, so there's some fossils laying around. There's my rock, so ignore that. I literally woke up not even two hours ago and was like, I'm going to record this for you guys. So, I have a little garden here. What I'm, like, th you're going to see, like, a lot of flowers in my town, but none of them are cool. Like, they're not, like, the golden or black flowers or anything like that. I'm still trying to grind and actually breed them. So that's on the to-do list for sure. Uh, this is my area of backyard. This is something for my for my one of my friends, so ignore that. But uh, I, I basically, what I like to do is I, I leave my town open a lot when I'm at school, and people can come in and visit my town, and they can take in the take and drop, which we'll get there in a second box. They can look around my town. They can take items that they need, whatever. And I sit here to let people know that I'm away and I'm not actually there. So I sit there, play the little guitar, and that's it. I got myself a custom Sonic uh, the Hedgehog art over here, and it looks like I'm painting it as well. So I like that. I love to draw, and I think drawing outside is one of the most peaceful things ever. So obviously I'm going to have that. A little barbecue for a nice little party when quarantine ends, you know. I love going swimming. I love taking a beautiful tan as there's a shadow, so I'm not going to actually get a tan. And, of course, the pool, right? The pool is really the touch of my home uh obviously i need to you know dry up my laundry a little bit so i'm gonna leave that over there we'll start up on the left side and then we'll move towards here i got myself a little diy workbench i have a quite a few in my town for when people come over keep something else here to show that there's some extra tools i have a little uh faucet right here just for the garden there's a lot of flowers in this area so i wanted to put that uh, in terms of bugs and stuff, I'm going to show you guys what I have, but I actually have most of them. This is my encyclopedia, Critopedia, and this is where all my hours really go to. So I'm almost done everything. I just have two bugs left, and then I have three fish left. And then, of course, there's the critters that... Um, are now out so I have to find that as well. I don't mind showing you guys my villagers so I could show you guys some villagers that I currently have but this is the drop and take area you're allowed to take and drop whatever if you have full pockets or just trying to get rid of stuff and you can take any of the DIY recipes that I find so that's that's that. Um, if you're interested, go on to my Discord. I have a Discord for server where everyone plays Animal Crossing together, makes friends. I even host tournaments for Animal Crossing monthly with uh, huge bell prizes and actual money. So if you're interested in that, you can go to my streams, which is every Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. Saturdays on 1 to 4. Um, if you do exclamation point Discord during my streams, you will get the Discord link, and you can join it. You'll have access to all the Animal Crossing stuff and more. So this is one of of my lovely neighbors. This is Genji. 
I love Genji. She is amazing. I'm not going to be giving her anything now. I'm not going to exactly spend time, um, you know, seeing everything. I always give things to my villagers. I always want cool things, but they tend to give me the same damn parka shirt every single time. So I think that's just a popular asset here in my town or so. We're going to go into a another home over here. I see Hamlet over there running like Naruto, but he, he's chilling. He's a, he's a cool little dude. He thinks he's very... Uh, buff but we're gonna make him think that <gasps> someone's sick today Gloria's sick oh my god and run you have to be quarantined girl you gotta lock your house I'm infected let's go down here thank lord we're safe then we got uh Kyle lives over here he, he's outside so I don't think we're gonna be seeing him yet he might be around oh there's Kyle so this is Kyle uh he is a wolf I never saw a wolf in Animal Crossing before I've been playing since the first game and this is the first time I have a wolf so that that makes me very very excited never did so this is Hamlet's house and there is Hamlet uh he's the cutest little guy he is he loves to work out but obviously he's just a chubby little hamster he's me so I, I I leave that with him. Got the little beach, nothing there. I got a lot of coconuts so that I can grind out some cash when I need to. Uh, nothing's over there. But if you go down here, here's my soccer field. So this is kind of like the sports area and the beach party. I really love sports. I love playing it, but I don't love watching it, and I don't know anything about it. I just enjoy it so much. So we set up this. We actually had an Animal Crossing tournament on Saturday with soccer, and you have to push like a person into the goal it was really funny so you can check out that bot on my twitch if you need to because it was hilarious so there is that over here of course there's some music that's playing and a, and a trophy to fight for got uh, of course here we got a little um little table so we could play that's one of my favorites i love that uh then we could go and got a little football i i see that a lot of like Players love to play football in the sand, so I specifically put that just for that. We got a little beach ball, of course. I tried collecting all the surfboards for the summertime. Unfortunately, I'm missing one. There's a white one that I'm missing. I'll post a picture here. If anyone has it and would like to send it to me, I'll pay greatly for it. I really will. I'm trying to collect everything in this game. So over here, you got some rock climbing. It kind of makes like a nice entrance into this area, and we're going to get there in just a second. But uh, there is also a basketball courts for some awesome players who just want to shoot some hoops and me basketball is one of my favorite sports so love that uh now this is the smash tournament this is the local weeklies and and uh the, the majors it, it looks a lot nicer at night because there's lights and the tvs are flashing and all of that but i wanted to record this in the day so i could edit it at the same time but we got some commentators over there from smash we also got uh you know the stage where the you know finals are happening and then we got the setups right everyone's gonna be playing then of course you can't have smash ultimate without millie so i did make a millie stage over here and here is the to desk this isn't done i want to order a uh, a laptop and all of that and um, you know put in another chair to really make people feel like okay like you know work's being done so and a little uh chalkboard just so they can write this stuff i'm not too sure what i could put here i feel like there's a lot of space here uh i'll figure that out at some point it's gonna change one day i'll do like an updated island tour and it'll be awesome so we'll go now down here Again, nothing really, but uh, I do know fishing is a thing. So I put a little, this you get from the fishing tournaments. So I put that over there and they can just go to the dock and start fishing. Another DIY um, workbench. And now, you know, the couples, right? The couples like to sleep in front of the ocean for some reason. That's like a thing. So I did put a little bed here um, where people could just kind of lay. For some reason, she's not laying down. She just doesn't want to sleep today. You're supposed to be able to lay there and you just look at the beach and you enjoy it. Got a little volleyball here. I'm really hoping in this game there's a volleyball net. Um, volleyball is one of my favorite things ever and I would love to put a volleyball net and then put the volleyball. I'm going to chop down these trees and make it like an area because that is very important at the beach. We love volleyball at the beach for sure. Another beach ball that got lost somehow at the party. Uh, let's go up here a little bit. So again, some more flowers that aren't exactly nice um in this area i put turnips so I, I buy turnips every sunday of course and like everyone else going crazy on twitter um from all the k-pop fans in the world but essentially i put all my turnips in here so people can't actually you know take them or anything like that so 
they go in here, uh, and I just leave them there until I find some good prices, and I take them out so I don't take up all my stock. Uh, I put all fruit trees in here. Right now, there's some fruits missing. I had some people that came into my town yesterday and took some fruits that they needed, but I set it all up, you know, like peaches are here, cherries, oranges, pears, apples, and then the last one is just random. So they could do that. I have a little well in the middle because, funny story, I couldn't get freaking trees to grow here in the center. They, it's just like there was too much, so I, I couldn't do it. So I put a well instead to kind of celebrate that. Money tree is over here at the side, kind of sneaking out, um, chilling a little bit. We'll go a little bit lower. We will get to that bottom part. I won't forget to show you that, but it's a little hidden area for like people who just want to chill and be, be calm and relaxed. Um, here's one of my favorite parts. So this is kind of like inspired by New York, um, the island for the Statue of Liberty. So I put some windmills because I think windmills are amazing. Uh, ever since I went to Belgium and the Netherlands, there were so many windmills I saw and they were so pretty. So you know how they provide that energy. So I put that there. I put Mrs. and Mr. Flamingo kind of sharing out something. <gasps> hero! Break for hero! Back to Statue of Liberty, lady. So I put some good um, pansies here. Pansies are my favorite flower in this game. I really love how they look, and I love the blue ones. So I put the the Statue of Liberty here, and then uh, we have an antenna here. Um, of course, with the satellite dish, kind of get that a little hype. Nothing's really on that side, so I won't go there. But there is a a, a wave stopper, stop wave, whatever. I don't really know what it's called, but that's there to stop the waves. Yay. All right, we're at one of my houses. This is where I breed a lot of flowers. And as you can see, I've had no success. So <laughs> I have a few here that breed it, but I'm trying really hard to get certain ones. I haven't really taken these out yet. I have to really start working on that. It's on the to-do list. So I got that. I got some other trees here for people to take. Uh, this here is Apollo's uh, home. Apollo is like one of my favorite villagers now because he has an actual story like he was in the military and served in war and like he's awesome so hopefully we run into him today here we go I had I had some mums here I didn't have any mums so I stole some from people's town and then started breeding them so that was that uh, I do believe Peaches is home yes she is so Peaches uh, we have a, we have like a joke in the community but like it's not funny like my grandma's blind so I feel you but she's blind she can't see like she I always see her running into things and she gets stuck, and look, she's looking for her chair right now. She's having a really hard time. But yeah, you know, it's great. But she's sipping her coffee. She's good. So this is Peaches, and she's been around since um, maybe the second week of my town. So she's, like, very iconic here. So she's she's always very beloved. And I feel like when she moves out, I'm going to miss her like crazy. So, uh, yeah, eventually I'm going to be really sad, and you will see that depressing tweet from me. So let's keep going over here. Uh, nothing really over there. Chevre is here. Chevre is my original villager. She came in, um, you know, the first day and she hasn't left yet. So she's been around since the beginning. Buck, um, Biff, not Buck. Jeez, I miss Buck. I did have Buck. God, I love Buck. Uh, Biff is here. He moved in a few months ago. He's been around since. He's, he's so cute. I saw him on the Stranded Island and I attacked him essentially. Now, this is the replica of When I Look at You music video by Miley Cyrus, and there's flowers everywhere, but, you know, she's just sitting playing the piano. Yeah, that's, that's like, where I want to be in life, so I put that there just to escape reality and make me think that I'm a celebrity. I love you. Yes. Do you love everyone? I love everyone. I hope you're comfortable, because I feel like you're not, but I love you. You're such a cuddle bear. I'm so happy you decided to join today's video. Oh, he says, a video? I'm out of here. So here is my park. I have like a big line here. Um, got a little telephone booth here with a clock because I feel like that's an iconic approach to any city. So here is the park for animals and kids. I have a little pool that they could slide right into. A lifeguard over there because people drown in the lakes. Uh, and we got ourselves a lot of seahorses. We got some toys, sandboxes, sand castles, uh, other toys as well. We got some teacups. We got ourselves. This is like a Mia. I, I don't know what it's called, but it's a Miha. And uh, then over here, up here. So this is inspired by a place in Montreal. 
and uh, essentially what it is is you climb to the tallest part of Montreal and you could see like the entire city so this is what I did I put it on the highest part of my town and it's a tourist area where people could come eat and they could come hang out they could look at very inspirational Montreal history stuff so I, I made some flowers around that they could read about it. they could sit down on the bench they can enjoy the flowers and the fountains and they can take pictures uh, and then I have some other rare you know pansies here because I love pansies we got some tulips and the lighthouse uh, of course and there's a silo over there as well but they can look at the stars at night and then we also got some um, the place where you can literally see the entire city so that's why I put that there I think this part's probably one of the most things I'm really proud of in this town I really like this area um, definitely took a lot of time to develop it but it was totally worth it so let's go ahead and keep on going here's the forest so there's a little forest area here it's just trees um, I, I'm a really big fan of the greenery, so I wanted that there. I put a little leaf pile here to make it seem more realistic. Uh, this is the movie theater. This one's probably my favorite. This is the first idea I had, like when I got, when I found out you could make Animal Crossing, you know, furniture go outside. My initial reaction was, I'm going to make a movie theater, and I did. So you get your tickets here, you pay, you walk in. Uh, it plays a movie. There's snacks. There's you know drinks. There's popcorn. There's there's candy, whatever you need. There's some models to represent the movies, uh, whatever it is. And then, yeah, you just grab a seat and you go ahead and watch it. Me and my friends on Discord call this the tea time area, where they all come in if we all have stories to give each other about our past or whatever, or even just drama. Um, <laughs> they will stand here and talk, and we will just sit down and listen on Discord, and it's the funniest thing. So that's that. It's the tea time. So it's the movie theater, but it's also the tea time area. All right, now we're gonna head down to back to the main square because we gotta get onto the other side. But here we go. We got some signposts that's letting you know where you're going. No biggie. My newest villager is here. This is Flo. <gasps> A balloon. Pop, bitch. So Flo just moved in about a week ago. She's brand new to this town, but she's been settling in well. I just started being able to send her some things, so that's good. This is also a new villager. We're gonna go say hi right now because I honestly keep forgetting the name. So she just moved in a few days ago, so she's like really, really, really new. So not used to just, oh, Bianca. Bianca's the cutest tiger. So, oh my god, I never even knew there were tigers in Animal Crossing, so when she moved in, I kind of popped off, because cats. 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 That, that's all. That is all. Cats. Now, down here from Bianca's house, you will find an area to go. This is, like, for couples or friends if they're going out camping, and they kind of want to relax. There's a nice hot tub to get a little intimate some food. <laughs> Oh, if you don't have a full stomach, you know what I'm saying. And then there's a nice little river, you know, that they can enjoy as well. So, things like that. Uh, now, we do have Abel Sisters, of course. And, um, obviously, Abel Sisters is, like, every other Abel Sisters. But I do want to check what there is today. This might take a little bit. There's Apollo! I went in just specifically to see if there was a villager in here, and there is. So, this is Apollo, the guy in the war that I mentioned. Now, there is a little trick if you want them to talk to you personally you know you could just move him away but he's stuck in the corner so i can't really push him but uh yeah love admiral uh, oh my god did i call him apollo so if we go down here from evil sisters we will find you know the other houses that we were at this is like kind of the the big area the village area and up here oh there you go we got some villagers up here this is kind of like a strip mall so i wanted people here like this is inspired a lot by japan and uh, even any chinatown where you just see a bunch of blocks selling whatever it is and i wanted to make that available to the public i do have to restock on this stuff because i see people replace things and took things so i have to but usually there'll be items there will be you know diy recipes there will be equipment there will be all that stuff and then of course there's a snack bar cotton candy machine Machines, all of that that should be in the movie theater I got work to do all right so got that so this here is Flo like I was saying we love Flo um, she's she's amazing and she's oh, something about her she always wears warm things you will never see this character in a damn tank top or anything she's always wearing something big and warm so she just like I don't know why she's here like maybe because she knows it's Canada and it's gonna start getting cold got my town hall now my town call um, 
tune is the Green Hill theme, and I can show you guys. All right, so here we go. I'll just uh, play it. Hey, you know. So my town is called Dreamland, um, and that's inspired by Kirby's Dreamland. Obviously, I love the towns in in Dreamland. My camera just decided to not focus. Ah! If I keep on going to the right, this is the diner. So this isn't the actual entrance. You could get in from there if you wanted to. You know how every restaurant has like a back door and a front door, so that's the back door. But this is the diner. You walk in, and this is like a, a bar slash diner slash like fun area where people eat they play games they enjoy watching how the chef cooks because it's like all open oven i want to make this a lot bigger actually um and really make like a chef area and really make like a, a diner area so um you got yourself a jukebox of course that you could pay for i'm gonna break this rock at some point so i can make that room um, and then we got ourselves the campsite. So, you know, I kind of want to represent people can perform here or you can welcome villagers here. So that's that. And then there's the waiting bench, right? Because maybe it's full and you need to wait for someone to leave to get a seat. So that is that. If you keep on going down, there is a fountain. Oh, here's Shefla. She's actually thinking of something. <gasps> a simple parka. Yes, please. I just said that you keep giving it to me. I'm pretty sure you're the one who gave it to me. So just take it back. I have a little fountain here with my favorite like blue flowers there. Uh, my house is back there, so we're gonna keep on going to the right. Here we have nooks, of course. We're just gonna pass it from the north side and the museum. So as I said, I do collect everything. I have every fossil right now and all the bugs and fish that you saw. So that's that. We're gonna go now from the upper side over here. So this for now is a, an area where every single season, you know how Animal Crossing really focuses on a specific, um, specific items and specific themes so this was like the uh the, the fireworks theme you know it was for july and august so that's why there's all the items out here and then of course when halloween comes out, i'm gonna make this a halloween area but i want to make it to something else if you have any ideas like yeah post it post it for sure this is just a little forest here and it leads back to that piano so i made those two areas connect so i didn't have to make another bridge this here is what I'm building right now. So this is to be continued. I'm making a big arcade area where people could come play games, uh, you know, just be the gamer that they want to be, hang out with their friends, eat, all that stuff. So I'm going to make that there. This is the concert hall. This is my favorite part of the town. I love music. You guys know I'm very dedicated to music. So people could come and watch their favorite bands and play. So all the instruments up there, the stages are there. There's music constantly playing. And not only that, but I made a backstage for the singers. So they cross over here and here's all the backstage. So, you know, the artist is getting dressed, they're getting ready, the, the equipment side is here, so the management all works here, and then there's all the extra equipment and all that for the stage that goes here, the artist can sit here if they need to, and of course planning the, uh, the stage. Lastly, this is the bamboo area. Uh, this is just a bunch of bamboo. That's all it is. It's a bunch of bamboo to get equipment and all its bamboo items that I've unlocked so far. So I, I, I like this a lot. I didn't expect to make this, but I really fell in love with the bamboo. I think that it's really cute. The reason why there's bears everywhere is because it's a running meme in my community where they're like Poe from <laughs> Kung Fu Panda. So And they love bamboo. So I put every time I get a bear item, I just put it up here and they just sit here and they chill. So this is kind of like a nice forest area. I keep it green here. I don't want to turn it into anything. Maybe in the future, but for now, it's going to stick with that. Maybe what, when I get to a thousand hours, I'll do an update to the tour or whatever, you know? So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, you can go ahead and visit my website, www.supergirlkels.com, where you can find tournament streams, news, music, and more that you can't get anywhere else. I am recording this on my stream setup. That's why you see recent subscriber, recent follower. So shouts to them. Uh, but uh, I wanted to make this video because you guys have been wanting that. Animal Crossing footage for so long and now it's here so if you have any ideas as to what you want to see in terms of Animal Crossing content let me know and I'll get that done for you I hope you enjoyed this special different video and I can't wait to make more Animal Crossing content for you guys okay I love you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next week for another lovely Monday video goodbye everyone see you later peace out